Everything that I reveal is coming from the success story of a 28 year old who had a full time job like you and I and decided to go into the vending machine business when he heard how fairly easy it was to enter into the business and how passive the income was. I'm going to give you step by step how to start a successful vending machine business with no experience at all for low effort passive income. I go over securing your machine to landing a deal to place your machine in a high traffic area for the best profits. And I'll also include costs so that you can budget everything out and get started. He started with one machine and he worked his way up to grow and had positive cash flow, no debt, and now generates $30,000 a month and only works six hours per week. Go ahead and get your notebook and let's use his five step process to get started. Number one, buy a quality machine. He actually ended up getting a machine on Craigslist at first and he doesn't recommend this because it actually ended up being a waste of time and a waste of money. You may find that people advise that you can get a machine from OfferUp or that you can find one from Facebook Marketplace, but oftentimes those really low cost machines end up being unreliable and causing much more maintenance for you down the road. It's much more worth it to buy a quality machine from a local supplier, even though they could cost up to $4,000. They're more reliable and require less maintenance. A great option, and this is a company that he uses, is called Ross Vending, and they have a warehouse of new as well as refurbished machines. For first time vendors and beginners, you should actually start with a drink stacker machine. It holds six to 10 different types of products, but you won't have to buy as many variations, but you can still experiment with what sells. And when it comes to what type of machine to buy, no need to reinvent the wheel, use what works. What does this once full-time employee now turned vending success story use? He only buys three types of vending machines. For snacks, the Crane 167, 168. For drinks, the Royal Stacker or the Bev Max 4. Next, you wanna make sure that you buy a credit card reader for your machine. It's actually affordable, but more importantly, it's convenient for your customers. You definitely don't wanna lose a sale because someone doesn't have cash. Believe it or not, not all vending machines have credit card readers, but where did this success story buy his card reader from? Well, it's a company called Nayax, and they can cost up to $399, but it is well worth the price. Why is Nayax so good? Well, because it shows you the sales live right there on the app or on the website so that you don't have to physically go to the vending location to see what needs to be restocked. And if you're worried about the credit card processing fee, don't worry about that because it's actually the customer that takes on that fee and not the seller. If you're new to my channel, welcome. My name is Sky, and I make videos to help you improve your financial well-being. Number three, step number three, you have to buy the product. Now, this vending success story who was once an employee like you and me still buys his product from bulk stores like Sam's Club, believe it or not. He actually uses Sam's Club still. Does he also have a warehouse now at this point since he's grown and scaled his business? Yes, he does have a warehouse where wholesale suppliers come and deliver the product to the warehouse, but he also still does use bulk stores to buy his product. So start off using Sam's Club and scale up when the time is right. Depending on the product mix, it could cost anywhere from $250 all the way up to $1,000 to fill the machine. And if you want to know, for his first machine, the cost was $250 to fill the machine. So you may be asking, how do I know what to put in the machine? When it comes to the product that you place in the machine, definitely go with well-known, recognizable brands. Test what sells and what doesn't and make adjustments from there. You want to aim for items in your machine that will give you a profit margin from between 50 to 75%. Step number four is to secure a busy location. Now for our case study today, the success story, who is generating $30,000 per month, he actually started off with his first vending machine by calling a friend whose dad owned a mechanic shop and he put his machine in that mechanic shop as his first, very first machine. The shop had 10 employees and it ended up generating $181 in a three month period, but it did get his foot in the door. Now that he was warming up to the process and he got his foot into the door, he ended up getting a second location in an apartment building. And that sold over $1,200 worth of product, but in one month. 
Knowing what he knows now, he would have probably gone straight into using the apartment building. But you can use an apartment building as your first location. And you can do that by using this tip that I'm gonna give you right now. So actually the best way to secure an apartment building or to secure any busy location is by cold calling. You wanna target buildings that have lots of employees and high foot traffic. Our success story today recommends using D7 Lead Finder, which helps you to find different business locations and their contact information as well. So the first thing that you wanna do is when you make the phone call, ask to speak to the manager or the owner and let them know that you would like to place a vending machine in their location. Go ahead and mention the benefits of having the machine from the convenience of having drinks and snacks for customers or even for employees. In addition to talking about the benefits, be sure to mention how you'll be handling the responsibilities. Many of these companies, they want the vending machines. They just, they don't want to install it. They don't want to manage it. They don't want to install it. And that's where you come in. Step number five is you're going to pay someone to bring the vending machine to the designated location. It's only $100 to $150 to hire a professional mover, but it's so worth it. Vending machines are heavy, they're hard to move, and they have to sometimes be moved to fit through tight spaces. So how exactly do you find this professional mover? Your machine distributor actually can help you with finding a mover. So you would connect with your machine distributor so that they can find you an experienced mover. Remember the recommended distributor was Ross Vending, so you would contact them to get your professional mover. These steps, this is exactly what the 28 year old did. He used these five steps and you can do the same thing too. It's very straightforward, passive and scalable. For more passive income ideas, check out this video right here. Best passive income ideas that will make you money. For more videos like this, go ahead and subscribe to my channel. Thank you for watching and I will see you in another video.